what is occipital neuralgia? What are the symptoms? That is the number one question I get when y'all reach out to me. There actually didn't used to be a really good description of it when I would look it up online. The definition was just a an electric-like shock that would last for a minute. Anyone who is going through this knows that that is not an accurate description of what we're going through. And I just actually looked up the definition so I could read it to you and it looks like they changed it this year, July 25th of 2022. So this is a little bit more accurate than the definition that I heard before. And it says it is a distinct type of headache characterized by piercing, throbbing, or electric shock like chronic pain in the upper neck, back of the head, behind the ears, usually on one side of the head. That is by far way more accurate than the description before. So I think that more studies are coming out um, and hopefully everybody will be able to find more information on it because of that. So that is very accurate. Usually the pain will start in the back of the neck and head. These two spots right here are the most tender spots um, for me. And I think that that is the majority of people struggling. That's where your two very tender spots would be. Anything touching it irritates it, putting my head on the back of the couch, anything um, as simple as my hair being up, it's just very tender and sensitive, or was. For me, those weren't the only places that I did have pain though. I ended up getting pain in my forehead as well, top of my head. I was constantly having these migraines. It was almost like I had two separate things going on, like these migraines on the top of my head and my eyes, and then all the neuralgia pain in the back. So right on the very bottom of my head right here, in my neck, it would shoot up and it would go into my traps. So that's where all that pain would be. So some days I would have one or the other and then uh, toward the end when I was just in a constant flare, I had everything every day. This is actually, I don't know if you can see it very well. That is a head log that I was keeping before my surgery to show where my pain was and then the uh, severity of it. So you can see here where all the pain is and then a line across my forehead as well as all the pain in the back. And that day says that my pain level was a 5-6. And the majority of these, now this was after I had gotten my Botox injections, the majority of these days were 5-6, five, 5-6. Six, five, six. Sixes, sixes, some sevens, and they all say all day, all day, all day, all day. There was no break in the day. I was just in this constant pain all day long. And here's another two weeks previous to surgery. And same thing. I mean, you can just see the pain all, my whole face, the whole, it was just everywhere. And you can't even really explain it. Um, so if you ask me what the symptoms are, I think, everybody has different ones there's when my nerves were relieved there was 31 different compressed nerves in my head so everybody's going to have different spots that are being pinched that will probably cause different different pain in different areas for everybody so it's i think it's very hard to just have a certain symptom out there i think everybody's pain varies I've talked to a bunch of different people. Um, some of them get the burning. Some of them feel like there's like spiders crawling. Some of them get throbbing. Some of them get the electric shock. For me, I I didn't really get the electric shock. I had more of a, a throbbing, a really bad tenderness, a really bad tightness, and then just this constant pressure on my head. It was very hard to focus. It was, I don't even know how to explain it, like a sense of tired. I was just in a cloud, like I couldn't focus. This pressure was just, it just made you feel like you were a zombie, like you couldn't wake up. Very hard to get through the day feeling that way all the time. Um, let's see, on some of these I even wrote, oh God, I have so many of these. Some of them will say in the day I was lethargic, my head felt acidic. Even though everybody has different symptoms, um, kind of similar. I mean, it's all in the head, the neck. This is obviously the majority where everybody will feel it. Some people have it on one side, 
Some people have it on both sides. I had it on both. Um, my surgeon went in on both sides and freed everything for me. Um, but the majority of people will find a little bit of relief with an ice pack. Um, if you put that on the lower part of your head, that should help the nerves a little bit. And that's what my doctor said was a telltale sign of occipital neuralgia. I'm curious to see if there's any other symptoms out there that I didn't mention. Y'all can write it down in the comments. I really would love to just help educate everybody on getting a diagnosis that is I mean, that's the reason I'm getting the questions from a lot of people is they're asking me if I think they have occipital neuralgia. Um, I, I cannot <laughs> diagnose anybody on that. I can tell you what I've heard from other people and what their diagnosis have, has been. I know that there's probably other, um, other contributing factors that could be causing similar things for people, but um, like I said, I just want to be able to put all this information out there because maybe you have a neurologist who hasn't heard of this um, or just thinks it's such a rare thing that they, they don't even bring it up or look into it. So maybe if you can gather this information and put it out there, hey, I'm having some of these symptoms that so-and-so had, this was their diagnosis, can you please look into it for me? I just, I want to be able to give that to people. So I hope that y'all will comment below and just give your experience, the pains that you go through with yours. And also if there is any specific questions that you guys like me to come on here and answer that I can do a video about, you can also write me here or on my Instagram and I'll try and create a video to answer anybody's questions, anything you want to learn more about. I hope this video was helpful. Y'all have a great day.